So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we're going to show you how to download the Microsoft building footprint data using Google Earth engine for any study region. So let's get started. So now let me explain about this data. So this data set is provided by Microsoft a building footprint data and AI assisted mapping deliverable with the capability to solve for many scenarios. This is official website. So here we're going to access our Microsoft building footprint data sets. So the few description about the Microsoft building footprint data sets. So the Microsoft has made a significant investment in deep learning computer vision AI that has been applied to mapping. And over the past years, the Bing Maps has generated high quality building footprint and AI and harnessing the power of computer visions to identify the map features. So now uh, these are the uh, areas where the data have been currently available uh, in Microsoft building footprint data sets for North America and South America. Africa, Australia, and even for South Asia. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine. So in this video, we're going to show you how to download a Microsoft building footprint data for any study region using our ROI. So for that, so first we're going to we, uh, we need to import our Microsoft building footprint data into our Earth Engine. For that, we define a variable called global equals to w dot data dot list assets. So this specific line of code will insert our Microsoft building footprint data set into our Earth Engine. That is project sat IO open data set MS building. That is Microsoft building. Next, so we're gonna visualize the, the details of this particular data set. For that, we define print assets in a Microsoft uh, global building footprint folder global assets. So this specific uh, line of code will gonna print our uh, the assets in the Microsoft building footprint data sets. So next to visualize the feature collection of this particular data set, we defined uh, print double dot feature collection and uh, specifically we are used our Microsoft building footprint data set. Specifically, we mentioned a country called India. So likewise, you can choose the country of your origin or you can choose any country. Just mention the name of the country and uh, we're going to use the dot size function. So size is basically we're going to visualize the total amount of uh, footprint data that is available for this specific uh, country. So for that, we are using dot size function. So basically, it's going to introduce the total amount of uh, the footprint data sets being available for this particular country is going to mention here. The next, we're going to select it for the specific country. So for that, that is Microsoft building uh, folder for a specific country. So for that, we're going to use a variable called double e dot folder equals to double e dot data dot list assets. We're going to mention our uh, footprint data sets source that is the data set code and we're going to visualize the data set the information to which uh, to vis uh, visualize the information about the data set we are used print double dot folder referring to this particular variable double folder so now a building a feature collection for microsoft and google so for that we defined a variable called ms building india so we are specifically using this country for our uh, google footprint data so for that we mentioned the variable called ms building india so next we're going to use the double e dot feature collection we're going to mention the line of code of our microsoft uh, code in order to import the data set and specifically mentioning our the country of our choice so next we're going to clip it with a specific roi so for that we're going to use a clip building with roi so basically we're going to use an roi tool so to uh, particularly clip the building footprint data of that particular uh, part of the study region of that country. So for that we are using ROI. So for that we defined a variable called MS footprint clip. So we defined a variable called MS footprint clip equals to MS building India. So referring to this variable of our Microsoft uh, building footprint data of India and we're going to filter it filter bound with uh, we're going to filter with the specific study region ROI. So now let me show you that ROI. So this is our, uh, you can able to visualize it. This is our ROI. We mentioned uh, this specific uh, study region. Let me show you the study region here. So this is our, uh, let me show you the map uh, map mode. So this is Chennai. This is the study region we're going to select. So now we can able to visualize here. This is our ROI. So now let me show you how to create an ROI here. So this is our ROI. Basically, I'm going to delete this one. So let me delete this. So now I have deleted our ROI. So I'm going to create a new ROI for the specific study region. 
So now let me convert to a uh, satellite mode. So now click this option called draw a rectangle. So once you click the option called draw a rectangle here, so now we're gonna draw a ROI over this particular study region. So we're gonna create an ROI here. So once you did that, so go to this option called here, the import section by the geometry and variable called geometry. It is a polygon with a four vertices. So it is a polygon with a four vertices. So we're gonna rename this variable as ROI. So now I have entered as an ROI. So once you did that, so you can also change the color of this ROI. You can, it is your choice. You can change the color of this ROI. So I'm gonna change this color to, so I've selected a color and click okay. So you can choose your color of your choice. So once you did that, so we're gonna get back here. So we defined a variable called MS, that is Microsoft Footprint Cliff equals to MS Building India dot filter bar with a specific study region called ROI, referring to this variable ROI. So referring to this one. So once you did that, to visualize the total number of uh, Microsoft Building Footprint data that is available within the specific study region of ROI, to uh, view that we define print MS Footprint Clip. So dot size function we're gonna give uh, give us a total number of Microsoft footprint data. So like this one, it is around four thousand six hundred and twenty seven uh, footprint data sets available within the study region. So once you did that, we're gonna uh, so once you did that, we're gonna add our uh, layer. So for that, uh, this add our uh, Microsoft building layer. So for that, we define map dot add layer ms footprint clip referring to the specific variable ms footprint clip. So we are used ROI to clip this uh, specific uh, region. So to, we can also change the color of your uh, ROI. So it is currently in red color. So you can also choose your color of your choice. And once you did that, we can output the lane name as Microsoft Building Footprint. So after that, we're gonna set the map center. So and so we're gonna turn it on our satellite image. So currently it is in, we're gonna set to a map mode. So we're gonna uh, set map center and we're gonna turn the satellite image. So for that we define map dot center object ROI with a specific zoom level of 70. So ROI here refers to a study region, so the specific one. And next we're gonna choose over satellite mode. So for that map dot set options satellite. So once you did that, we're gonna export our data to a Google Drive in GeoJSON for file format. So for that we define export dot table dot to drive. We're gonna export it to drive. And collection, we're gonna refer to MS footprint clip. We're gonna refer to the specific variable as our the collection. So once you do that, the description will be of the Microsoft uh, Clip ROI. In the folder, we're gonna save it to uh, in our uh, in our drive section. We define double that is uh, GEE that is Google Earth Engine MS Footprint. And the file format will be in JSON uh, Geo JSON file format. So once you did that, so we can uh, move to this option called Run Script and click this option called Run Script. So now we're gonna execute the code. So now this is our layer, Microsoft Building Footprint Data. So now we can able to visualize the footprint data has been loaded. So it is marked in red color. You can able to visualize. So one we have our, our ROI layer, we're gonna turn this off. So now we can able to visualize our the footprint data set for this specific study region. Let me zoom out. So now we can able to visualize the Microsoft footprint data set. So this is our Microsoft footprint data set. So once you did that, so we're gonna move to move on to our, uh, the reservoir. We're gonna move on to our task section. So before that, we're gonna visualize in the console section so there is a total of 6,504 building footprint data sets available within the specific ROI. So now to export this uh, building footprint data to your Google Drive, so go to the option called task. So in that, we're gonna able to visualize here, there is an unsubmitted task called Microsoft Clip ROI. So click this option run. And now a new window has been popped up saying uh, initiate table export. So now we're gonna task name is Microsoft Clip ROI. And uh, we're gonna save to a drive folder. And the file name will be in Microsoft Clip ROI. File format will be GeoJSON. So now to run this, click this option called run. 
so once you did that it gonna take some uh, a few minutes time to export this particular Microsoft footprint data set to our Google Drive so now our uh, the Microsoft building footprint data has been exported to our Google Drive so it took around one minute to export over the specific study region of Orbo I. So now we can open it in our drive, open in drive, click this option called, click this option called open in drive. So once you did that, so now we can able to uh, visualize our data, the Microsoft clip Orbo I in GeoJSON file format in our Google Drive. So now to download this, click this option called download. So we're scanning for the virus and uh, yeah. So we're going to save it in our download section and the file name will be in Microsoft Clip or OI. It is in GeoJSON file format and click save. So once you did that, we can, I'm going to open my QGIS software. So this is our QG, uh, QGIS software. So now we're going to import that data into our QGIS. So for that, we're going to move this option called layer and we're going to add a layer called uh, add a vector layer. So we're going to basically add a vector layer. And now we're gonna select our. Uh, so now we're gonna select our uh, GeoJSON file format uh, we have downloaded. So we're gonna click this option called, uh, and we're gonna select, and we're gonna select our Microsoft Clip uh, ROI GeoJSON. So once you did that, click this option called Open. And after that, you click this option called Add. So it is scanning. So we're going to choose this particular uh, polygons and click this option called add layer. So now let me minimize it. So now we can able to visualize here. Let me zoom in this part of the study region. So now we can able to visualize our uh, Microsoft building footprint data. So we have uh, downloaded for, we can download this footprint data for any studied region using our Arvo to Arvo I tool in uh, Google Earth Engine. So now you can able to visualize it at all in QGIS. So this is our footprint data set. And now we can able to visualize our footprint data set. And this particular mode of downloading our uh, footprint data set from Google Earth Engine and visualizing in our QGIS or in RGS software, it is highly efficient mode of uh, doing that because other software is taking, uh, taking a uh, bit of longer time compared to this one. So it took around uh, to load this data. It took around only a few seconds, and even for downloading the the footprint data for your specific study region, it took around a minute to download. So now let me get back to our Earth Engine. So now we are in our Earth Engine. So now we can able to visualize it. It took around a minute to download this particular uh, building footprint data set. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, download our Microsoft building footprint data set for any study region using our Google Earth Engine and visualized in QGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.